Unlock the secret powers of iodine. Did you know this essential nutrient can transform your health? I am convinced that if you're watching today's video, you can receive a massive benefit to your health by using iodine. From boosting your metabolism to preventing infections, I'm gonna share with you 20 proven ways that iodine can change your life. Iodine is a miracle mineral that can supercharge your thyroid, boost your brain health, and transform your skin, and a whole lot more. Watch now to revolutionize your health. In today's video, we are deep diving into the benefits of iodine internally and topically. This essential trace mineral plays a pivotal role in your overall health. I'm Dr. Melissa Gallagher, and I love iodine supplementation and usage for a multitude of reasons, from internal benefits like thyroid hormone production and cognitive enhancement, to topical uses such as wound healing and promotion of skin care and reducing bacterial and fungal infections. I have 20 evidence-based applications to share with you. All of these have clinical studies and references linked in the description box below so you can explore the science behind each benefit. Number one and one of the most impactful applications for internal iodine liquid usage is to enhance and support your thyroid hormone production. Iodine is a fundamental component in synthesizing thyroid hormones like T3 and T4, which regulate metabolism and energy production. Adequate iodine levels ensure your thyroid functions optimally. And unfortunately, we have to supplement with iodine. This is the one miracle mineral that is not produced by our own body, which means we need to supplement via food and internal iodine to support that thyroid production. There's no coincidence that when we stop drinking mineral dense waters and foods, the levels of thyroid insufficiency and goiters that individuals deal with has been on the rise and continues to increase year over year. Which leads me to number two, you can use liquid iodine to both prevent and reduce goiters in their size. So if you're looking to shrink a goiter or to prevent them in your thyroid, iodine deficiency is a leading cause of goiter development. And this is where the thyroid gland enlarges to compensate for low iodine. Sufficient intake of iodine actually helps maintain the glandular size and optimal function. Number three, this is really important if you are expecting or are a parent. During pregnancy, adequate iodine is critical for fetal brain development. Iodine deficiency can result in intellectual disabilities and developmental delays. And organizations like the World Health Organization, WHO, Health Direct, and other assorted international health organizations provide extensive clinical data on this particular research and condition, but simply reaching for liquid iodine when you are pregnant or are hoping to conceive will greatly enhance and improve your fetus's development, brain development and neurodevelopment. So when you deliver that baby, as they are reaching their milestones, they'll be achieving and exceeding. This parlays into number four, which is iodine is necessary for cognitive function in children. An assortment of studies show that iodine supplementation in deficient children actually improves their cognitive performance and also increases their IQ on tests. This benefit underscores the importance of iodine in early development like number three, when you are pregnant, but if let's say you were iodine deficient during pregnancy, there is still an opportunity to enhance your child's iodine reception. So good news is you can still take action even if you have a five, seven, nine, or 11 year old. I have a nine year old and I add a drop of iodine into his daily water every day. Number five, metabolic regulation. Through its role in thyroid hormone synthesis, iodine is essential for regulating your metabolism. This includes energy expenditure and protein synthesis. 
This is really critical if you've experienced metabolic dysfunction or metabolic syndrome, varying disorders like PCOS and MS and RA. Supplementing with iodine can support that regulation. Number six, reproductive health is greatly benefited by using iodine. Iodine supports the normal function of reproductive organs, influencing fertility and overall reproductive health. This is great for teens who are starting their reproduction process and all the way through and even past menopause. So especially friends, if you are experiencing hormonal imbalance, reaching for iodine supplementation daily, adding iodine dense foods to your diet are very important ads to balance and support your reproductive health. Number seven, your heart loves iodine. There's massive benefits cardiovascularly and improvement in cardiovascular function because your thyroid hormones are critical for ma maintaining a healthy heart. Both rate and blood pressure is greatly influenced by iodine and your thyroid hormones. By ensuring proper iodine levels, you are going to directly influence and support your cardiovascular health. So if you have an increase in blood pressure or heart rate, it's very important that you check and zero in on your iodine level. Number eight is my favorite. Iodine supports immune systems. Iodine's microbial properties actually help boost your immune system and your defenses by supporting the activity of assorted immune cells. This is proven in specific research pieces by the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center. Number nine, iodine has antioxidant properties. Iodine itself is an antioxidant and it helps to neutralize and reduce oxidative stress and free radical damage, which supports your cells and protects them from free radical damage. Iodine is great for gastric health. Emerging studies suggest that adequate iodine intake may actually help decrease the risk of gastric cancer by maintaining the integrity of the gastric mucosa meaning the lining of your stomach stays intact and actually supports your immune state of your stomach lining. Number 11 is for all my ladies who are concerned and care about their breast health. Iodine is a critical element in the management of fibrocystic breast disease. And if you have ever had a physical exam or any type of breast screening and you've been told you have dense breast tissue, Iodine supplementation has actually been studied in its potential to alleviate the symptoms of fibrocystic dense breast tissue. This is really important because we have an assortment of iodine receptors in our breast tissue. I actually feature this. It has its own module in my breast health course. If you're interested in taking that, I'll include a special $100 discount code in the description box below. But Breast tissue is extremely influenced both topically and internally when we supplement with iodine. Breast tissue has a lot of receptivity to iodine, which helps support the immune system and it actually protects the cells from oxidative stress, which usually creates a situation of fibrocystic dense breast syndrome or disease. Next, I wanna to switch to the assorted topical applications of using iodine, specifically referencing an iodine solution. You might know this as betadine or povidine iodine solution. You can usually get this at most pharmacies and you can even grab it on Amazon like I did. Number 12, iodine is very powerful for wound healing. Specifically, this is a widely used antiseptic to prevent infections and promote wound healing. I remember my mom using a little iodine wash, almost like an antiseptic kind of alcohol. It doesn't burn like the alcohol, but it is very good for minimizing the risk of infection and the microbial load in wounds. This is very powerful and we see this use in pre-op and post-op. In the surgical suite, this is very critical and that is why an iodine wash is used before a surgery is performed. And studies show the risk is lowered in post-op infections like MRSA and some of the other infections that can cause issues to that wound. Number 13, you can actually use iodine to disinfect your water. Iodine is one of many methods for water disinfection, 
But this may be especially helpful if you don't have access to potable water due to traveling or maybe you're hiking or even in a state of a natural disaster. A 2% liquid tincture of iodine can be added to water. Usually it's a five drop increment per one quart of water. So if the water is cloudy, you can add 10 more drops per quart. Number 14, specifically, iodine is powerful in the treatment of a specific corneal infection called bacteria keratitis. Povidone iodine solutions have actually been effectively used in the treatment of this particular bacteria, which offers a very cost-effective solution, especially when we're dealing with a potentially blinding infection of the cornea. I know a lot of you are gonna love this. We can use iodine in helping maintain your oral health, specifically when applied topically to both the gums and your teeth, it can help control bacteria growth. So let's say you have an infected, impacted tooth, or maybe you have a toothache or even gum disease that is inflamed or you have kind of a pussy situation that's kind of erupting on the skin, you can apply this solution to that area and know that it will greatly reduce the microbial activity in that area. This is a really good solution, especially if you can't get to the doctor or your dentist quickly. It's a way to stop the infection or at least combat the infection so it doesn't continue to grow and become systemic inside the body, which is a very dangerous thing when we have an oral health crisis. Number 16, I actually have experience with this, and it is a management of chronic wounds with iodine solution. Very similar to how a lot of folks might be familiar with silver, in wound care, iodine dressings, specific cadexamer iodine dressings are what we see have the most effectivity in treating chronic wounds. These iodine dressings actually can help lower the microbial load and promote healing of these chronically open wounds. Many of you know, not only am I a naturopathic physician and I do now a lot of telemedicine appointments with patients, but at one point, I was in clinical care in nursing homes and long-term facilities and post-operative care clinics. And I had multiple patients that had open wounds, either it was from a diabetic kind of influence or just weight or a lymphatic impairment. And we would use iodine-soaked dressings to help promote the healing and a lot of what I would do with wrapping and some of the other therapeutics would actually get these areas of the wounds healed and reduce that kind of chronic continued infection that plagued their system and caused weeping, oozing wounds. So this is really good if you know anybody who has chronic wounds, mention this to them and hopefully they'll be able to get iodine dressings that can support wound management. Now, number 17 specifically relates to children's dental caries. So the prevention specifically of dental caries or what we call a cavity in children. There are clinical trials that have investigated the efficacy of a 10% povidone iodine solution application in preventing the cavities in children's mouth. And this is specific for children who maybe their oral microbiome is a little bit imbalanced or out of whack because they've had chronic strep infections. Maybe they have had an assortment of antibiotics and steroid management for chronic sinus and ear infections. All of those things influence the oral microbiome. And actually we see an overwhelm of assorted harmful bacteria types like streptococcus, which tends to be the leading cause of childhood caries. So using iodine specifically can be helpful in that prevention. And for parents, it's gonna save you a boatload of money, especially with some of the other tips that I share in this video, where you can grab some more helpful oral health management for you and your kids. Number 18 is really important for anybody who is expecting to have a C-section or anybody in your life that maybe is healing from a C-section and having troubles. There are studies that povidone iodine is actually used for skin antisepsis in C-sections and is highly effective in, guess what, reducing surgical site infections post-operative. And this is one thing, unfortunately, I'll get on a soapbox sometime later, but a lot of times we see labor and delivery and C-section care 
not be as strategic and clinically buttoned up where we're seeing iodine use in helping heal this big open wound that we know as a C-section. So a powerful baby shower gift is actually this povidone iodine because it can help that new mom heal faster and prevent infection if she has a C-section. This is a really good thing to have in their go bag to the hospital. Number 19 is actually the powerful protection that iodine gives after radiation exposure. And I want to recommend this as both an internal and topical solution. It's a preventative measure against radioactive iodine uptake by the thyroid during what would normally be like a nuclear emergency, safeguards your thyroid health. But this is recommended in our daily life when we are either having x-rays done, oral x-rays or x-rays of your spine or an extremity, and even scans that may expose you to radiation. This also is impactful for mammograms and any individuals who might be going through cancer treatment like radiation therapy. Using iodine internally and topically on the site that may have been radiated can greatly protect not only the thyroid but also the overall body state from oxidative stress and that toxic exposure to radiation. And number 20, iodine is a powerful effective treatment for fungal infections. Topical iodine solutions exhibit antifungal properties and are effective in managing superficial fungal infections. This, again, provides a cost-effective option. So as you can see, iodine is a powerhouse mineral and key nutrient that has a wide variety of health benefits that you can deploy internally and topically today. From regulating your metabolism to supporting skin health and overall promoting healthy brains and healthy immune states, iodine is one of those masterful minerals that many of us are walking around deficient in. Which leads me to recommend, if you are unsure if you have iodine deficiency, I recommend not guessing, but testing your iodine. I run tests every week with patients and I'll include a test link down below where you can order a test kit that comes to your house, you can take this test at home and then send it off to the lab. And quickly, we are able to analyze what type of iodine is going to be best for you and what volume. I'm gonna include right here a chart that'll show you what the normal recommended daily usage for iodine. So regardless of your curiosity, if you are sitting in any degree of deficiency, you may need double, triple, and sometimes quadruple. And that I see very frequently you might need more than what is recommended here. I do wanna note you never want to exceed two milligrams of iodine a day without medical supervision and dose based on your levels, not just the daily recommendation. So the question of the day, friends, have you ever had your iodine tested and are you currently taking iodine supplementation and how are you using it? Comment down below. I'm gonna be choosing a lucky comment winner to win both internal iodine, potassium iodine, and the povidone iodine solution. So you can reap all 20 benefits here for the iodine usage. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please make sure you comment. It actually helps the algorithm and helps grow my channel, which I am grateful for your assistance in that endeavor. YouTube has unfortunately been very censorship oriented, and I've had a multitude of videos recently kind of kicked off the platform because of some of their really, really tightening community guidelines. So any help you can give by commenting, sharing, liking is highly appreciated. And I look forward to seeing you on our next video. Be sure to comment and ask any questions. My team and I will be answering them as best as we can. I look forward to seeing you on our next video.